All right, welcome back. Day two of the Lucy. We got A and B squad today. Um, I think I might stay here for the Pro-Am. Um, but yeah, we got seven games of qualifying this morning and we got B squad this afternoon. And um, yeah, it seems to be, it's gonna be a dope day. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and let's get right to it. Hope you enjoy.
Thank <laughs> you. 
the girls that I talked to yesterday, I know it just And yesterday, I sent a message to the Facebook page. I sent an email to Kevin.
Okay guys, um, A Squad's done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leading after A Squad is Chris Prather and Hulk Gramley. Uh, feels good to see them again. Um, um, they're definitely gonna move on to the semis after not advancing to the semis last year. So for you guys, let's just give them a little bit of an interview and see what they honestly felt during their seven games of qualifying. All right, Chris, Hope, great bowling. So, just want to ask you, as the lanes transition throughout the whole seven games, I'm going to start with you, Chris. What did you think changed when, when the lanes started to break down and had to, had to continue stringing some strikes and making uh, good yeah, spares? The, the biggest thing for me was realizing how much friction was actually on the lane uh, and making sure that I had a weak enough bowling ball in my hand as far as cover. Uh, to make sure that it got through all that front friction while also keeping my hand kind of up the back of it. I wasn't trying to really create a whole lot of down lane angle just because it pair to pair it made it a little bit more over under for me. So just trying to control the pocket and figure out how to get all 10 down. And what about you too, Grant? Oh. Uh, to start the day, it was just kind of chase it left and keep hitting pocket basically. And then when we made the flip to the low end, it was really tricky for me. And then at that point, it was hit the head pin, make your spare move on. So it was just, just a good bowling day all around. Since you guys did not advance to the semifinals last year, and since you guys are probably going to advance this year, what did you thought was, what do you think were the differences between last year and this year? Uh, communication for sure. Uh, was Currently in fifth place, plus 157, uh, Deandra and EJ Communication was definitely the and biggest thing for me. Place, um, communicating with that plus one oh eight and Daniel Henderson, Ryan Barnes, having as much trust in me as she does. Uh, squad. Man, super, Remember super, super impressed. Squad still in the row, top 40 teams. After all, all right, four Chris, squads, Hope, thank you very much, and congrats on advances to the semis. All right, guys, it's been about an hour, and B Squad is already starting. So we got Victoria Verano, Brandon Bone, Kyle Troop, Anthony Simonson, um, uh, Liz Johnson, and I lost count who else is bowling B Squad. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoy.
Alright guys, um, um, hope you guys enjoyed B practice, uh, B squad. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, we're just about to start the program momentarily. Um, hoping it's. What are you doing? Get over here. I don't care. Anyway, there's Nate. He's a good friend. So, you gonna shoot 900 tonight, dude? Hopefully. It's a, it's a whole of hope. It's a sports show. I don't know. But yeah, guys. I'll be honest. Right. I'm seeing one. Probably <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, yeah, guys. Um, get ready to start the. Okay. <laughs> He's a good friend of mine. But yeah, guys. Get ready to start the pro am. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, there there is not a ring ceremony this year. I kind of didn't expect. Um, I kind of was expecting one this year, but it's okay. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm not going to be here for all three games of the Pro-Am because it's going to finish, like, late and such. But um, um, I think I might just stay for just one game. I'm going to try and get as many clips as I can before I head off. So, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to hear all the jokes, um, whoever announces all the pros. And, yeah, let's have a little bit of fun. Pulling on lanes three and four. Michaela Morgan, senior at Hobart William Smith College in Geneva, New York. Her favorite food is pizza and milkshakes. She was the 2023 AMCC Player of the Year. Bowling with Justin Bone, 2022 U20 Boys Junior Gold Champion, two-time Junior Team USA, got lucky and had a higher total with Brandon Bone today. Yeah! Yeah! On five and six, Crystal Elliott, my dog is cuter than me. Participated in helping my team make the cut. Happy meals are her four-course meal. DJ also says to mention one, uh, won two national championships. Bowling with Francois Lavoie, second best Canadian to Celine Dion. His back hurts from holding up his partner all day. And he could steal your girlfriend in three different languages. Bowling on seven and eight, Laura Plazas. She's been a world champion. She can speak several different languages and she can eat her own weight in food. Bowling with Alejandro Ishikawa, first Peruvian competing on the PBA tour, been also on his baseball national team. And people think that he can speak Japanese or Chinese, but in reality, he even struggles with English. <laughs> On nine and 10, Danielle Henderson. She's a national champion. She's a better two-hander than her partner. And she wears tape on her thumb. Bowling with Ryan Barnes. Two-time first team all collegiate All-American. Son of Hall of Famer Linda Barnes and some guy named Chris Barnes. 2023 ITC national champion at Wichita State University. Bowling on 11 and 12. Victoria Verano, three-time member of Junior Team USA, 2023 NCAA National Champion with Vanderbilt, beat Parker Bone the third son today. <laughs> Bowling with Brandon Bone, 2024 U22 Masters Champion, 
second best bowler on his team this weekend, and Parker Bone III's favorite left-handed son. <laughs> Bowling on 13 and 14. Melanie McDaniel, top finish on tour, third at the uh, Bowl TV Classic 2023. Head coach at Governor State University. Owner at Best Barbecue Business on the Tour, Tiny Human Barbecue. Bowling with Jeffrey Young. Two national collegiate team titles with Wichita State, 2014 Team USA member. Won the 9-pin no-tap tournament last week. Good job. Bowling on 15 and 16, Brianna Clummer beat man, Nate Stimler, her partner, by one pin today. Holds three and 16 record on the PWBA Tour. Been on Team USA, Junior and Adult for a total of 10 years. Bowling with Nathan Stubler. Lead qualifying at this event last year with Brianna Clemmer. Finished fourth at the PBA Players Championship this year. Two-time collegiate, first team, All-American. Lane 17 and 18, Carrie Smith. Three-time PWPA Regional uh, Champion. Head coach at Ala Alvernia University, and her favorite color is pink. Bowling with Anthony Pepe, one PBA national title, three USBC Eagles, ten PBA regional titles. 19 and 20, Alyssa Ballard, 2023 NCAA national champion at Vanderbilt, 2022 junior team USA member. Bowling with Garrett Andrews, 2024 Junior Team USA, 35th at the 2024 US Open, and U18 Boys Junior Gold, 5th place. Lanes 21 and 22, Lauren Russo, newest WBA champion. She held her brother up today. I'm better at bowling than my husband, Matt Russo. Bowling with Nicholas Pate. My sister won a title before I did. My girlfriend has more revs than he does. Many time Team USA member. Bowling on 23 and 24, Sid Sydney Brummett. Dog's name is Rosie. Cool stuff at Wichita State for a long time ago and beat Kevin three games today. Bowling with Kevin Williams. His dog's name is Baxter, and it's way better than Sydney's dog. I will give $20 to the first person to do a backflip. Anybody? I read at the I read at a max fourth grade level. That makes two of us. And I'm gonna hand the mic over to Tony Lanning right now. Major, followed that up by being the youngest to win two, three, four, and five majors, including the U.S. Open, the Masters three times, and the 2019 PBA Players Championship. Earlier this season, he won the 2024 Pete Weber Missouri Classic and then wrapped up the regular season with the victory in the PBA Tour Finals. He bowled 300 in his first game this afternoon to start their bid at defending their title from Las Vegas, Nevada. Please welcome Anthony Simonson. And his partner is an eight-time champion on the PWBA National Tour. She holds two majors, including the 2019 U.S. Women's Open. She's a 13-time member of Team USA. And just for the record, she beat Anthony one game today. From Stony Point, New York, please welcome Danielle McEwen. Congratulations, Anthony and Danielle. Give them one more hand. We'll continue with the roll call. Lane 27 and 28, Deandra Asbatty, USBC Hall of Fame. Over 70 international medals, 15 time member of Team USA. Biggest accomplishments are for kids, Madden and Jersey. Bowling with EJ Tackett, two time PBA Player of the Year. Five major PBA titles. Best thing that's ever happened to him is having his son trip. 
Bowling on lane 29 and 30, Hope Gramley. She's Alec Keplinger's girlfriend. Also, hashtag spare the girls because she needs some. She wrote that, not me. Has no trouble seeing in big crowds. Bowling with Chris Prather. He won some stuff. Really excited about bowling pro-am in someone else's shoes. Two-time first semester player of the year. Bowling on lane 31 and 32, Dasha Kovalova. She's already cried today. Her therapist is proud of her and sometimes she strikes a lot, but not today. Bowling with Ryan Simonelli has been a washed up lefty. Second best player on her team. Uh, average of 207 on anything. Lane 33 and 34, Kristen Kwa. Top 10 NCAA student athlete to graduate across all sports in 2019. Five year member of Team Singapore. Hold the five game record at the Queens. Bowling with Jake Peters is currently the oldest player on Team USA, was the 2007 USBC Star of Tomorrow, and is the slowest bowler on the PBA Tour without a shot clock fine. <laughs> Lanes 35 and 36, Juliana Kerrigan, currently a sophomore at Stephen F. Austin State University, competes on their women's bowling team. She has a, uh, three sanctions, 300 games, to, uh, two of which come from this part of the co past college season. She beat her partner today, Anthony Lavery Spar. 12 regional titles, two-time player of the year, holds USBC Nationals team record. She, he used to be the better twin. <laughs> Pulling on lane 37 and 38, Esther Chia. Been on Team Malaysia for 20 years. She speaks three languages and she yawns non-stop. Bowling with Marshall Kent. Seven PBA titles, one major. 11-time Team USA. Once threw a turkey one-handed, two-handed, and left-handed. PBA's hot dog eating contest winner. <laughs> Bowling on 39 and 40. Lee Jane Sin, 2024 US Women Open Champion. 18-time Team Malaysia, love to bowl and smile. Bowling with Nate Purchase, two-time regional champion Midwest uh, of Player of the Year, lead rookies in points and earnings and cuts made, stalled five minutes for Mitch to get his backpack. Bowling on lane 41 and 42, Emma Wren, 2024 Queen Champion, Illinois. Collegiate Final Four appearances, four, and she's carrying Kevin McCune in this tournament. Kevin McCune, 2023 PBA Players Championship winner, two PBA Regional Titles, 2021 Regional Rookie of the Year, part of the only three-generation PBA Titleist family with father Eugene McCune and grandfather Dan McCune. And on the last pair, 43 and 44, Julia Bond, Seven-time member of Team USA. Her goal is to read 100 books this year. She's currently at 71. Won the 2021 Queens. Bowling with Mitch Hupe, PBA national titleist, 10-time member of Team Canada, two-time world champion. Missed the official practice, but won't miss the pro-am practice. There we go, all right. Give it up for your pros, everybody.
Give me one. Hey. I will match it. All right. Let's. 350 going twice. Sold. Thank you. Looking for 250. 200 looking for 250. 250 looking for 300. Come on, Louie. And Louis. EJ Tackett just gave 400 dollars ah. as well. Thank you to EJ. 995. 929 Okay. It'll be a nice gift for someone. We appreciate it. All right, guys, we're going to go into the auction here. Um, EJ, Andrew, the team motive. All right. Two, looking for 250. We got. I have a $500 bid. Looking for 600. Someone give me 600. There you go. Someone give me 600. Now that one strikes. <laughs> Bro, Nathan really screwed up a 300 and ended like, you get it in a 360. It just randomly hooked, okay? And then you might have called it. I shot some pretty good shots. I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah, shot two And it says 264 because I'm 50 pence of handicap. Old guys, Matt Shoe. That is just unbelievable. I really want to to shot 300. I want to beat Nathan. I want to beat Nathan so bad. I was really praying for it. Yo, guys, check out this. Please help us with this. All right, guys. We're going to rock out of here. Kyle wore this outfit. He actually had it on tonight. But he wore it whenever he won the Indiana... Uh, classic this year, and he signed it. Pretty awesome, actually. And it's something that his father wore also in 1989. 98, sorry, 98. 98. So, we're going to let Kyle start this off. What he wants to sell it for, and then we'll go from there. 450. Someone give me 450 one time. Someone give me 450 one time. One time. 450. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 450. 450 to you, sir. Thank you so much. 450. 450 looking for 500. Looking for 500. 450 going once. 450 going twice. So, thank you, sir. Please see this in the front of Kyle. We'll deliver this to you. Kyle, uh, we deliver to that young man. Thank you, sir. He's going to pay for it up here with these people. Where are we going? And it is all this gentleman right over here. It's just, uh, he's going to ride here and pay right now. All right, ticket number for attendance. A breast cancer spare ball. And he had all the pros of signing the ball. Nine, seven, two, five. Seven seven nine seven two five. Thank you, Sean. Guys, we'll be auctioning out. Well, I think auctioning or giving away the bikes. Next uh, pink ticket, we have a North Face backpack. Kind of cool. Seven eight zero. All right, so that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for today. And as you guys can see, I'm already back at the house. Um, it was a fun day as always. <laughs> Um, actually helped out with some of the raffles and the auctions, um, which was cool. Um, I actually managed to get these really cool portraits of Justin and Brandon Bone. You can see right here. Um, it's actually my first time using the portrait mode on my phone, and it's actually really, really cool. Um, so yeah, the, those are sick pictures. And um, as well as took this picture with me and Justin and Brandon. How cool is that? Um, but yeah, it was another fun day for day two and, um, 
we still got day three with Julian and Lara for C Squad tomorrow. And um, as well as I think Packy's on D Squad. And um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be dope tomorrow. And I'm honestly looking forward to it. So I think I'm gonna probably go to bed now because it's getting late. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoyed, like the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. Peace.